Senator Babafemi Ojodu is still with us in the studios. He is the special advisor to the president on political matters in the office of the vice president, even though he says that's one little detail. Let's quickly take you up on yes. uh, some of the ha happenings. I mean, yesterday, you, you, you have alleged now yes. that the, there was a fifth columnist, but perhaps, and I, in fact, you, you seem to be suggesting that the sacked DG of the DSS perhaps was a fifth columnist. Is that what that, I... That's your own conjecture. I'm saying that there are, some of those things must have been the action of a fifth, fifth columnist. If you now conclude by yourself that I, I was referring to you, then we can quote you for that. Distinguished, mm -hmm. I think it's very important right. that you say what you mean and mean I'm what saying, you say. I'm saying that action, clearly. that action portends a, a collusion between the PDP caucus and a fifth columnist within the system. To allow what happened yesterday to have, to have happened. By within the system, you mean within the executive arm of government? I'm talking within the security apparatus that did what they did yesterday. Okay. It could have been anybody. Can you also let us know <coughs> yes. we, what exactly transpired at the meeting that was held uh, between the, the, the acting president and the DSS DG? Who you, was you, now you mean I should come to the television the Inspector and, General of Police. and narrate what happened? between the security chief and the acting president? Because a number of stories have emerged. Yeah, those, are, those are, look, is it... Just a moment, right, uh, thank you. distinguished. Yes. This is also for the clarification of the public. Right. A number of stories have emerged. When right. Ajiri was asking you yes. about, you know, whether or not the acting president consulted and yes. you know, all those kinds mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. matters, it is because of the out, some of the things that we have heard as a yeah. result. We have heard that the NSA is saying that the DSA sh DSS DG should be reinstated. That's not true. Uh, have you That's heard fake that? News. That's that, fake news. That's fake news. Yes. I yeah. know, and I'm just going to tell you that that is fake news. We have also heard quotes of yes. the DSS mm -hmm. uh, the, the, from the from the DSS DG saying that he didn't know anything about it as well. That he was also invited, like anybody else, to the I'm, uh, I'm saying, villa. I'm, I'm saying a meeting between the Inspector General of Police and the DG DSS mm -hmm. is a meeting that is held closed door. So if anybody comes to the television station or go on social media to then say this is exactly what transpired, the person will be lying. What is important in this case is that the, the acting president, you know, was, was, was not happy about what happened yesterday. Now, let me quickly read yes, this. It says, yes. nobody arrested me. I was only called for it's, an it's interrogation fake. at the villa. Mm -hmm. I acted based on the instructions given by the APC chairman okay. through the chief of staff you, to the president. Right. That you are was, a journalist. I'm a journalist. Quote. I'm a journalist. You are a journalist. That has made was the it round. at a press conference? Where was the press conference? Where did the press conference held? Was it at the press conference? Was it in his office? Was Senator. it where? No, look, I mean, if you are quoting somebody, you should be able to support it with other things. I'm a journalist. My point I is... I practiced journalism uh, for 30 years. Uh, I'm saying that if you got such a quote, Senator, then you should ask the, yourself, the was, question, that, was that said at the press conference, at, you know, addressed by DG DSS, or was it in his office, Senator, where, you know, or was it in his Senator. house? We have a lot of very important issues to get into, and right. I really want to make sure that we, we, we delve into all of those. Yes. When you talk about the DG of DSS, mm -hmm. you have made an allusion earlier in the conversation that. to this notion of a potential collusion between a PDP caucus of the Senate and uh, the, the security actors involved in what happened right. yesterday. You said right. that very clearly. Very. Now, some people who have <coughs> been proponents of mm -hmm. that suggestion or yes. allegation uh, Think of, essentially refer to the uh, fallout of Magu versus uh, Magu versus the Senate, oh if you will, oh and how there was a DSS report that indicted Magu, Again. and that this was a, an, another sign of what you're talking Again, about. I, to... I want to be very clear yes. here. Again, In your, wait, yes. I want to be very okay. very clear here. Okay. In your view, yes, is the DSS mm -hmm. chief that was sacked, mm -hmm. uh, Lawal Dara, right, working with? a presiding officer of the National Assembly, because this is what we have seen in all of the papers, not in the fake news. Well, again, you are bringing issues that are extraneous to what happened yesterday. And I want to go back to what happened yesterday. There was a seed laid on the National Assembly, and it came to the notice of the acting president. And he thinks this, that was not right. That was not democratic. That was not decent. You know, and he then took a decision based on information available to him. Now, bringing in extraneous, you know, cases and circumstances, for me, do, does not arise at this point in time. If later in, in future you want to write the, the career, about the career of the DG of SSS and then his role in governance, 
you can then begin to look for all other facts, you know, to fill your book. But in this matter, and which I've been invited to come and talk about, that decision was taken based on the information available yesterday. The, on, the, the yes. whole, the whole in, in, in your logic that I'm trying to really make very clear here yes. is you are saying that there is absolutely no conspiracy between the APC caucus and the DSS as of yesterday. Not to my that, knowledge. That is what Not you said. Not to my knowledge. Now, I, what I'm asking mm -hmm. you, sir, yes. is in view of that suggestion, if you have a scenario where the DG of DSS has now been sacked because mm -hmm. of this unlawful invasion, in yes, quotes, right. then are, are, are you now suggesting that he's essentially just an irrational actor that was just acting alone for no good reason at all? Well, because otherwise, if there's no political conspiracy, what, then, then what, what, of what, what benefit is it? Why would he have done that? If, if his action had been rational, and had, had, had been to, 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 to normal practice or decent practice, he would not have been sacked. Get that right. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So there's no doubt about it. You don't get sacked for doing what was right. You get sacked for doing what was wrong. And he did what was wrong yesterday. And that was why he got sacked. Simple. When, 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 we say, when you say that, the, uh, you know, essentially that this is what would have caused this issue yesterday. Yes. The question is whether or not this man was caught in a botched operation, that had it been successful, that perhaps no, this no, blowback wouldn't even be an if, issue. If there is going to be such an operation, for God's sake, there will have been a discussion with the, with the acting president. He will have had knowledge of it. This man got to know about it just like you and me. So nobody sent anybody on such an errand. The APC that you people are accusing of wanting to impeach Sharaki were have you know, miles away from that place. Senator yeah. Zuber, in fairness, I'm not referring now to yes. the acting president. We right. know that the issue of yesterday has yes. a kind of a, a, a trending history before it. Yes. I want to remind you of just a few weeks ago, right. in we, when we saw the house of the Senate president, mm -hmm. Nicola Saraki, right. locked down by the police. Which police? When we, Which? I, I'm, I'm coming, yes. sir. The house of the DSP simultaneously <laughs> locked down by agents of the EFCC. Yes. And we, we know that it was because Saraki got some sort of a brief the night before By that who? he was able to outwit By the security who? agencies and get to the plenary to, to issue the defection I, letters. I would rather say that it was a drama scripted, you know, by the same person you have mentioned, you know. If, if, if DSS or police wanted to arrest uh, Senate President for whatever it is, they, they would do it. They are professionals. They know what to do. What, but what, 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 what I'm saying, mm -hmm. you should watch out from now till election time. There will be more dramas. There would be so-called uh, uh, attempted to kidnap Senator, I'm somebody not, jumping on top yes, of the street. Senator, all I'm kinds not, of I'm funny, not funny things. To, I'm yes. not referring to intrigues and drama now. What yes. I'm referring I'm, to I'm are, saying. are I'm, I'm coming, sir. Please yes. allow me to land. Right. I'm referring to real-life scenarios. Yes. In which certain actions have been taken by security agencies. Which one? When President Muhammadu Buhari was in the country, these right. things happened. I referred to what happened with the DSP and the SP simultaneously, you know, and how that happened to be the day when the defection letters were going to be read. Now, in view of that appearance of politicization of security yes. operations, why should Nigerians now believe that what happened yesterday is in no way you politically see, you, operated? You will have to ask the Senate president, why politicizing Nigeria's security? Why, you know, writing scripts that will ridicule Nigerian security? You know, you were going in the morning to go and read names of defectors, some of whom they said we never defected. And you wanted to have the sympathy of Nigerians. You then created an, a circumstance of a blockade of your house. Mm. And this, then you say you escaped. The, this thing which is, is very... Come on, come very, off it. Please, very, let us also be critical when you are looking at this, Senator, this just, darling Senate president.